Well met, Lord Chancellor. Court Advisor Malasan. Guardian. Please, let us walk. As you probably know or don't know, the Emperor's coronation has been postponed to make way for the trial. It will begin shortly where charges will be read out and the prosecution will make its case. Sitting on the jury will be the six houses of Cyrodiil, a prerequisite as the defendant is of noble status. All the parties have been advised, but one thing you can be assured of, it will be fair. It's the law. I will be presiding over the proceedings and will advise the Emperor, who has the last say. Court Advisor Malasam will plead the case for the defense. Morag Cetheus will be prosecuting on behalf of the Emperor. I know what you're thinking, Dragonborn. I advise you to refrain from saying it. The Count will hear statements from the prosecution and defense. Then the defendant, Rigmore, will be questioned. The court will deliberate, then finally Rigmore will have a chance to make a statement. She might want to have her say, or make a confession, or say nothing at all. She's not too good. I am afraid I am not at liberty to discuss. Uh, Poppycock, Blackwell, and you know it. We need to prepare her for the worst. She was interrogated by the prosecutor. It's standard procedure. We do not allow torture. They took her into a cell, and she was made to sit. Then her hair was shorn, and she began to cry. It's standard procedure to humiliate the accused to break down any self-respect or any scrap of dignity they might have left. It's nothing personal. You must try to compose yourself. The Guardian, Rigmore is a tough girl. Be thankful it's illegal to use traditional uh, interrogation methods. It really doesn't bear thinking about, trust me. No, something strange happened. The prosecutor stood behind her and tore her dress asunder, exposing her back, and just stood there, staring at the scars for what seemed... an eternity. And all that could be heard was the soft... gentle sobbing. And then she just left. She stormed out as quickly as she had arrived. I tried to console the Countess and had her placed in a comfortable, secure room. And she was given prison attire to protect her modesty. A guardian, she needs you to be strong. If she is found guilty and exiled, we will worry about that when the time comes. When the trial starts, you must keep control of yourself, especially when Rigmore enters the room. To not do so will end in dire consequences. The Countess will be flanked by four guards. Any attempt to subvert the proceedings with violence will result in her death with immediate effect. Do I make myself clear? Just to let you know, there are six jury members. The charge is for treason. If their verdict is four against, she will be acquitted. 
If they fail to reach a verdict, she will be acquitted. If it's hung, I get the final say on the evidence provided. With no evidence or credible testimonies, I will advise the Emperor to acquit the Countess. But know this. If there is evidence, I will pursue a guilty verdict. Thank you, Lord Chancellor. You have been most helpful. Dragonborn? Yoo-hoo! What's this? His name's Balin. Lives with his mother by the lake. Please excuse me. I must prepare for the task at hand. I am so blessed by the gods to once again be in the presence of the mighty Dragonborn. Are these your friends? I'm so excited. Ooh, I think I might faint. Oh! Oh! Hey, watch it! I say, my good man, it's good to meet you, but we have important business to discuss. I have followed the Dragonborn's adventures for as long as I can remember, and have the most extensive collection of news clippings in Cyrodiil. Who are you? You're pretty. Oh, my cheeks are glowing. Get away from me, you freak! I see. You must be such an adoring fan to follow the mighty Dragonborn. Where's the Countess Rigmore? Do you know her too, Mr. Kind Old Man? She's related to the Emperor Titus Mead I. Isn't that wonderful? Can I help you? Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, goodbye. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, we don't know that. He might not have heard. Pretty much everyone would have heard that. Thank you, Keris. Guardian, we still have everything to play for. I think it will help her. It's time for Rigmore to come home. To stop running around. No more looking over her shoulder, and I intend to put this whole thing behind her. For good or ill, whether she's found guilty or acquitted, it's time to put this whole thing to bed once and for all. There's an island located in the Sea of Ghosts. There used to be an abandoned fort on Northern Tip. Cepheus turned it into a prison. All exiles are sent there. Noble hostages, political activists, religious extremists, Daedric devotees. <coughs> if Rigmore is exiled, I'll need to return to Bruma immediately. Carice will accompany Rigmore in exile as her lady-in-waiting. Make your way to Dawnstar. There's a trade route with a small fishing village on the south of the island. Any of the fishing boats will know the area and take you straight to the prison jetty for the right price. Get in, find the girls, and get out. It's time. Shall we proceed?
Silence. Court is now in session. The Empire versus the Countess of Bruma. The accusation is of treason on two counts. To assess her royal bloodline as a pretender by default. To usurp the Imperial throne by subterfuge. I call the prosecution to make their case. Well Proceed. met. The Countess of Bruma is not who she claims to be. She has been harboring a secret. We are here today to fully expose the trail of lies and deceit she has woven. And to prove beyond a doubt her reasons for signing the noble decree did indeed have ulterior motives. That she intended to infiltrate the houses of Cyrodiil to cause dissent to intrigue and subvert so as to place herself in a position of power to make her claim to the Mede dynasty. A dynasty that has been legally passed on to our great emperor, Ariel Sethius, by right of combat. I put it to the jury, the Countess Rigmore of Bruma is a pretender to the imperial throne, thereby committing treason and that you should find her guilty so that she spend the rest of her days banished in exile and the house of Bruma be dissolved. I call the defense to make their case. Proceed. The Countess of Bruma is innocent of the charges brought against her, and I put this to the jury that they think very carefully of the implications a guilty charge would bring. I put it to the jury that they will find before them not a subversive, power-hungry pretender to the Imperial throne, but quite the opposite. They will see but a young, vulnerable girl caught up in events not of her choosing that have led her to this day. And they will witness the truth about Rigmore of Bruma, her name, which in itself sounds as if it could be a tragic comedy you would see in a local amphitheater. But there is no comedy in this play. We are here to see today only tragedy. And I implore you to find the accused not guilty and be acquitted, so she can simply return home where she belongs. Bring in the accused. <gasps> Silence! 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 Rigmore, Countess of Bruma, you have been brought here today to hear the charges against you. You are accused of treason. How do you plead? Not guilty. The prosecutor may proceed. Uh, permission to interject, Lord Chancellor? Go on. As you can clearly see, the Countess of Bruma, who I shall refer to as Rigmore, is in poor health and is clearly disoriented. Before the prosecutor questions her, I would like to speak to Rigmore directly, only for a moment, as to clarify her position, so that she knows just what actually is going on around her. Prosecutor? No objection. Now, Rigmore, don't be afraid, as today you will be free. No more running away, no more hiding, so I want you to listen carefully. Whatever questions the prosecutor asks, you must tell the truth. You must not hold back. You have nothing to hide or be ashamed of. Tell it as it is. Do you understand? Yes. There's a good girl. Thank you, Lord Chancellor. Prosecutor. 
No need to accuse, interrogate, or intimidate. Ask her what you want to know, and she will comply. The prosecutor may proceed. Countess! Countess! Rigmore? Are you a direct descendant of Emperor Titus Mead I? Yes. How did you acquire the title and deeds to the county of Brula? Emperor Titus Mead II bestowed them upon me. Did you plot to usurp the Imperial Throne by subterfuge? No. Do you admit that by your lineage you are a pretender to the Imperial Throne by default? Yes. Silence. I rest my case. Silence. The accused is guilty. Silence. Court advisor Malasam, you realize that the Countess has, by her admission, brought these proceedings to an abrupt close. I do. And thanks for gods. But I still have the right to advocate clemency. Objection! Objection denied. Continue, Court Advisor Malasam. Uh, gentlemen of the jury, Lord Chancellor, what you see before you is no usurper, no threat to the Imperial throne. Until recently, she was considered a commoner, not even of noble blood. She didn't come to sign the noble decree to cause dissent. She came to sign the decree because she was scared. Her ancestry was a curse, something to be hidden. Why, you might ask? Because it would eventually lead to a day like this. Her ancestry should have been cause for celebration. Ties to a dynasty was something Titus Mead II held dear. He himself bestowed the titles and deeds of the County of Bruma upon her house, and it should therefore be noted in your deliberations. So I ask for clemency, and that she has been able to keep the titles legally awarded her by her former Emperor. And I ask you to be merciful and that she be cared for as befitting a royal princess, Lord Chancellor. Not guilty on the first count, guilty on the second count. Clemency approved. Not guilty on the first count. Guilty on the second count. Clemency approved. Silence. The court has come to a verdict. Countess Rigmore of Bruma is found not guilty of the charge to usurp the Imperial Throne by subterfuge. Countess Rigmore of Bruma is found guilty of the charge to assert her royal bloodline as a pretender by default, and is sentenced to be exiled to the island of Roscrea for 25 years. Silence! 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 As is the unanimous wish of the houses of Cyrodiil, the Countess will retain her noble titles and deeds. The County of Bruma will be administered by her family in her absence. And it is of the express wish of the houses of Cyrodiil that she be cared for as befitting a royal princess. Take her down!
Ah, it's the minimum sentence. I knew it was coming. I needed to secure the county for Sigun. Guardian! Guardian, we must do something! Guardian! Guardian, we must do something! No! No! I won't hear of it! I can't lose her now! I... I love her! I'll join her on the island. I'll, I'll have Father talk to the Emperor. I am not giving up on her! You might want to give up, abandon her, but... but I will not! Sir Robert, there's nothing any of us can do. Rigmo said she will marry me, and she is still the Countess! How can you all just give up? Call yourself a guardian! Poor boy. Let's hope he doesn't cause trouble for us, shall we? Keris, it's time for you to go. Tell the guards you are Rigmo's lady-in-waiting. They should let you pass through immediately. Then present yourself at the prison. The nobles backed us, Guardian. It will be much harder for them to try anything and give you a better chance to get her out of there. Rigmore will have a personal guard and be kept as comfortable as possible. Keris will be with her. I shall go back to Brumer and console Sigun. Prepare for a siege, dear girl, and reach out to the nobles, in particular Leowin. They won't be expecting that. They won't be happy about this trial, especially Sir Robert, if at all his motivations are genuine. Hopefully, Sefri will have something to go on, and of course, ask my mistress for guidance. You know what to do.